So this is called arc secant, or the uh, it's inverse function secant. Basically, they give us the ratio of secant and ask us to find the angle. I use this to find the angle, and what it's telling me is that the hypotenuse was 3 and the adjacent side was 2, but there's no arc secant button on the calculator. Well, what I'm going to do is this. First, I'm going to do is check my mode. Oh, it's in radians. Now, if I want my answer in radians, I can leave it alone. Or if I want it in degrees, I simply go over and arrow over. I think we understand the degrees better. We can do it in either one. Now, I'm going to get out of this particular feature. But notice this. I cannot do secant here. But I can do this. I can do second cosine, but I have to flip these. If I don't, if I did 3 divided by 2, I'm just going to show you something's going to happen. You're going to get error because it's not possible. But if I did second cosine and I flip these or reciprocate it because cosine is the reciprocal of secant, so I just flip these numbers. I have 2 divided by 3, close it, enter. Now I know that the secant answer, arc secant of 3 over 2 is the same as our cosine of 2 over 3, I get this answer right here. Another way you could have done it would have been to have done this, is to take the 3 divided by 2, enter, and then did x negative 1, so that you end up getting this. That just makes us 2 thirds as a decimal, if you see that. And then you would still go second cosine and have to type in the 0 0.66666666667, enter, and notice I got the same number, 48.189. 48, those numbers are very, as you can see, kind of hard to see them all, but you kind of see they are, they were exactly the same. But you've got to flip these and do cosine, whether you do it in decimal format or whether you do it in fraction format, they have to be flipped. Okay, don't forget, arc secant is how you find the angle.